I am here to answer that question racing through everyone's mind in the grocery store. What products are good and worth my money? I answer this by buying new and interesting products and then recording my in-depth review so that you will know what you are getting. All of this in an attempt to bring it to you full circle. Good evening, YouTube. Full Circle Review back here again with another review. i got four more Pop-Tarts, the last four Pop-Tarts of every single Pop-Tarts. After this video, I will have reviewed everything with Pop-Tarts brand on it. Every Pop-Tart, every Crisp, every Mini, all the ice creams, and the cereal. Take that, Kellogg's. So today we got Frosted Blueberry. Red, White, and Blueberry. Unfrosted brown sugar cinnamon and unfrosted blueberry. We're going to start off with the unfrosted blueberry. Like always, uh, nutritional information will be at the end of the video for all you who care about that. And I will pop one in the toaster while I review one cold and try to improve consistency and deliverability so that you, the viewer at home, know what to expect. There it is. Pretty uh, bland looking. Dark purple center. First bite of this makes me think of mini wheats. It has that wheat flavor. Tastes exactly like a blueberry mini wheat. The dough is very underdone, plain, raw flour. Blueberry is fairly natural, not all that sweet. I like the consistency of it. It's a little chewy. I wish there was some more pulp in here. Pretty good blueberry flavor though. Let's try it toasted. A lot softer. Pastry consistency is so much better. Blueberry flavor is much more pronounced. It's sweeter. The dough tastes toasted. It still needs vanilla. It still needs salt. And I actually think this would taste better whole wheat. Hmm. Decent pop tart. I prefer them toasted over untoasted. 84 out of 100 that can improve by making the dough toasted with vanilla. Actually cooked your pie crust. The blueberry needs more texture. Add some pulp back to it. I like the natural flavor. The sweetness is just about right. I feel like if you increase the amount of filling just a little bit, it would be just about perfect here. Pretty good pop tart. It's simple though. Now to the unfrosted brown sugar cinnamon. I mean, calorie wise, they're so close. Why would you go with an unfrosted pop tart? I mean, you're saving maybe one gram of sugar, and actually, on some of the unfrosted ones, you have more sugar in them. So I just, I don't, I don't see the appeal. Is it against your religion to eat frosted products? This is not the prettiest pop tart. It looks like so. It looks like a, a zombie stab victim. Not much filling, and it's a very odd color. It tastes like biting into room temperature, room temperature uncooked pie crust. Good brown sugar flavor with hints of cinnamon. Pie crust has a good wheat flavor. This one, the pie crust in this one actually has a much better wheat flavor. It comes through. Still needs to be toasted. It tastes raw. They benefit so much from using butter in their crust. Just not, just not enough filling in this.
Sorry, my um toaster. Whoa, toaster ate my pop. Ow! Toaster ate my pop tart. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So this is what we're working with. But it's toasted. It's hot. Got a nice burn mark from it. That's what I go through for you. I love you. Mmm. Brown sugar flavor is so much better. Nice grittiness from the sugar. The pie crust tastes buttery when it's heated. Mmm. This is amazing pop tart. I actually prefer this over the frosted one. Just because it's softer. It receives your teeth better. It's like biting into a pillow. 94 out of 100. They can improve by increasing the amount of filling. Making the cinnamon a little bit stronger. Using butter and vanilla in the, in the crust and cooking it longer. That is a spectacular pop tart. If you like brown sugar and cinnamon, consider the uh, untoasted one. I actually prefer it texture wise. So now the red, white, and blueberry. I'm guessing this is a. Um, a way to try to market marketize patriotism in this country. Oh my word. Now we're using the other side of the toaster now. I would call that pink, white. Now I'm guessing the inside's gonna be the blue part. Yeah, the inside's purple. At least there's a lot of filling. Is it just blueberry? Good blueberry flavor. Better than the unfrosted. Pie crust is drier than the unfrosted. And I swear you can taste that dye. It might just be the blueberry bleeding through, but you get the wheat. It almost has a Play-Doh-like flavor. It's not, not all that pleasant. I really like the blueberry flavor, but the pie crust just seems to be a little off-putting. It might just be my mind messing with me because it's an odd color. Hmm. But I really like the consistency of the filling. It's chewy. Sweet but not overly sweet. Let's try it toasted. A lot softer, the texture improves. The icing is still crispy. Blueberry flavor is much stronger. Yeah, I think just that strong blueberry flavor is bleeding through into the pie crust. This still needs butter. It still needs vanilla. This is better than the unfrosted blueberry. There's a lot more filling. And it's sweeter. 89 out of 100. Butter and vanilla in the pie crust. Cook your pie crust. I flip and love the amount of blueberry filling and the blueberry flavor in this. If you like blueberry, you're going to flip and love this. The sweetness is on point. The only thing is it lacks in the pie crust like every other pop tart but the blueberry flavor is on point if you like blueberry this is the best blueberry I've had so let's try the regular blueberry frosted there it is it's a pretty pop tart 
Man, they really fill these blueberry ones up. I swear it's an entirely different texture. A lot more icing on this one. It's a lot sweeter. Less blueberry flavor. See, this pie crust tastes buttery, but still underdone. The other one had like a Play-Doh-like consistency. I think I was tasting the dye. But the blueberry flavor was stronger than the other one. This one's just sweeter. That's interesting. It's interesting how dye can be that, that influential. Still good texture and sweetness. I much prefer the pie crust on this one than the red, white, and blueberry. Still wish it was toasted. And vanilla would help. Let's try it out of the toaster. Mmm. Texture so much better. It's a lot sweeter. The blueberry flavor is stronger. Pie crust tastes more weedy, more buttery. Still needs vanilla. Mmm. This comes through like a really good blueberry donut. This is spectacular. Yeah. That's the best blueberry donut. I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> got donut on the brine. Blueberry pop tart. Ninety-two out of one hundred. They can improve by putting butter and vanilla in the pie crust, cooking the pie crust longer, decreasing the amount of frosting, increasing the amount of blueberry filling, and adding some texture to the blueberry filling so it had more like pectin in it, more um, fiber, a little more chewy. This is the best one. Uh, I could see myself buying this again if you like blueberry. You're gonna flip and love this. It's sweet, best texture, best consistency. Um, good product here. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna have a few more pop tarts videos. There's gonna be a ranking. There's gonna be a video where I teach you the best way to cook pop tarts, and I might even do a Kellogg's Company history. But if you like pop tarts reviews, look through my channel. I've reviewed everything they make. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, y'all take care.